the safety aspect of, uh, of traveling to South Africa is often overstated in the international media. Yes, of course, we live in a country where there is a big divide between rich and poor. Yes, of course, we have areas in this country that should not be visited and that are not safe. But I come from Munich. There's areas in Munich that I would be hesitant to travel to at 2 o'clock in the morning. So I think it's no different. Uh, it's maybe a bit more documented and it's certainly because of the great divide between rich and poor in this country, it, it's, it's in all likelihood worse than in some first world countries. But who are we comparing ourselves really to? Uh, if I compare South Africa to Germany, Switzerland, maybe the UK, Norway, yes, we'll have a bad comparison. If we compare ourselves to 90% of the other countries in the world, we end up in a good comparison. Um, secondly, areas where tourism is happening, is largely protected, it's not really part and parcel of that uh, security debate in South Africa. And I can only, only refer to A, my personal experience, where I had twice in my life a security issue after having lived in the country for 28 years, and once was in London and once was in Zurich. Um, and secondly, I can use the statistics in our company, we move about 200,000 passengers a year, and we have less than half a percent of security related issues. Two-thirds of our customers are self-drive customers, so they're independent, um, where we can't keep a watchful eye on them, and still we have very low incidence of security issues.